Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial we are going to talk about photoresistors. So if you don't know what is a photoresistor, it is this component. And basically it's a variable resistance. So we use this component to get the brightness of the room for example. We can check if it's too dark or not. And in this video we are going to hook up this to the Arduino and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to understand how the resistance of this photoresistor is changing. Basically, when the light intensity goes up, the resistance of this component goes down. And when the light intensity goes down, the resistance goes up and now we can hook up this to the Arduino and we can use the analog read command to read the voltage that is changing because the resistance is changing as well but how we're gonna use this component maybe you could think of uh, hooking it to the 5 volts so if we hook up this to the 5 volts and basically it's a variable resistance and as usual, we have the current that goes from the plus terminal to the minus terminal. So when the light intensity changes, the resistance changes as well. And if we apply the Ohm's law, we can get the current. So the voltage equals the resistance times the current. So the current in this circuit equals the voltage, which is 5 volts over the resistance so whenever the resistance goes up the intensity goes down and whenever the resistance goes down of course the intensity goes up but the problem with this is that we can't get the current from the Arduino we could only read a voltage so the solution for that is to connect this photoresistor with an ohm resistor for example 5k or 10k then we can read the voltage in the middle so let's take this example so first of all we are going to connect the 5 volts to the photoresistor which is a variable resistance then we are going to add another ohm resistor but the value is constant for example 5k or 10k and I'm going to show you why we need to use 5k or 10k ohm resistor. That's because the resistance of this photoresistor is between 1k and 20k ohm. So make sure to take an ohm resistor that has a resistance in the middle of this range, like 5k or 10k is okay. And as usual, we have the current. And this is the ground. And after that, we are going to connect the middle to one of the analog pins, for example, the pin A3 or A0, and we can read this voltage, and let's apply the Ohm's law. So the Ohm's law said that the voltage, which is 5 volts, equals the resistance, and it's the total resistance. That means it's the resistance of the photoresistor, I'm going to call it RP plus the resistance of the resistor that you choose for example 10k times the current that means that the voltage that we are going to read which is this voltage I'm gonna call it V0 equals the resistance which is 5k or 10k for me times the current that we can get from this equation which is 5 over the resistance of the photoresistor plus 10k now if the light intensity goes up the resistance goes down for example 1k and in this case the voltage will be about 5 volts with an RP equals 1k it's gonna be about 4.5 volts but whenever the light intensity goes down the resistance goes up of this photoresistor for example 20k and if we calculate the voltage, it's going to be about 1.6 volts. So the voltage that we are going to read using one of the analog pins, J3 
changes when the light intensity changes we're going to use that to check if it's dark or not now let's create a simple project using the photoresistor so you will need a photoresistor and a 10k resistor or 5k it's okay so I have this one and it's labeled 10k you will need two LEDs a red one and a 220 ohm resistor as well so that we can protect it also you need a green LED and another resistor so in this simple project we are going to turn the red LED on and the green LED off when it's dark and we're gonna turn the green LED on and the red LED off when it's light so we can check the light intensity using the photoresistor and let's start by adding the photoresistor to the Arduino so that we can check if it's working and as we said we need to create the circuit so let's go from the 5 volts and let's connect this photoresistor it doesn't matter which lead you use so I'm gonna use this one and let's add in series this ohm resistor which is 10k ohm resistor then we need to go back to the ground so let's go from the other leg of the resistor to the GND pin now we can read the voltage from the middle so let's take this jumper wire and let's connect it to one of the analog pins like A0 so let's go back to the code and read the voltage from this point to check if this is working or not so first of all let's add a variable which is the analog pin using int and let's call it light pin and let's assign the value A0 to it then we need to go to the setup function and use this pin as an input using pin mode the light pin then input now we can use the analog read command to read the voltage using analog read we need to pass in the pin number so this function takes the pin number and it's gonna return the voltage which is between 0 and 1023 0 means 0 volt and 1023 is 5 volts so let's create another variable so that we can store the value using int and let's call it read value then let's use read value equals the returned value of this function and to display this variable let's use the serial monitor so under the setup function we need to add serial dot begin and let's pass in 9600 as usual and under the loop function we can print this value using serial dot print ln read value now we just need to upload the code so let's hit this upload button then we need to open the serial monitor using tools serial monitor and as you can see we have the value 874 that's because it's a little bit bright so when the light intensity goes down and as you can see it's reading 231 but when it's too bright for example let's turn on the light as you can see now it's reading 900 so the value is between 0 and 1023 so when it's too bright it's gonna be about 5 volts and when it's dark the value goes down now we're gonna use this value to turn our LEDs on and off so when it's too bright like in this case we are going to turn the green LED on and the red LED off but whenever it gets dark we are going to turn the red LED on and the green LED off and to do that it's very simple we just need to check if the read value is greater than 500 for example but first of all we need to hook up these LEDs to the Arduino so let's start by adding the red LED so I'm gonna connect it to the pin number 2 and let's take the ohm resistor then I'm gonna connect the longer leg of the LED to the other side of the ohm resistor and finally we need to go back to the ground so this Arduino comes with three ground pins but you could create a ground rail by connecting the GND pin to one of the points on this line and it's going to create a ground rail but for me I'm gonna use the GND pins we have these two on this side so let's go to the ground 
and finally let's connect the green LED so let's go from the pin number 3 then let's add the resistor to protect the LED and finally we need to go back to the ground so I'm gonna use this GND pin and once you complete the circuits let's go back to the code so first of all we need to add few variables using int and it's the red pin which is the pin number two and we need a green pin variable as well which is number three then under the setup function we need to use these as an output using the pin mode function we use the red pin as an output to turn the red LED on and off and the same thing for the green one then we can go to the loop function so that we can turn on these uh, LEDs on and off depending on the value of the read value and to do that we need to use the if statement so if the read value greater than 500 in such case we are going to turn the green LED on using digital write green pin then the keyword high and we need to turn the red LED off using digital write red pin then low but if the read value is less than 500 that means it's a little bit dark and we can use the else statement you could also create another if but it's recommended to use the else so otherwise that means that the value is less or equal to 500 we're gonna do the opposite so I'm gonna copy these and let's paste them down here but we need to turn the green LED off and the red LED on and I think that's pretty much it so before we upload the code let's try to verify it and yeah we didn't have errors we can upload it and there you go we have our green LED and it's turned on that's because it's a little bit bright you could also use the serial monitor to check if it's okay as you can see it's reading 800 which is greater than 500 and if we make it a little bit dark you see that the red LED is turned on so it's working I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write that under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and I will see you in the next one